Well, I've made a lot of different kinds of records in the last few years. Um, I have a solo album, which I think of as a mix of a songwriter, a jazz singer, and um, an Ethiopian singer, and there's some Ethiopian music on that as well. And I'm about to put out another solo album in that same vein, but in the meantime, I put out two collaborative albums, one with an Oakland-based soul singer called Quinn DeVoe, which was very much exploring um, the roots of soul music. And then um, I put out an Ethiopian hip-hop space opera with two Ethiopian-American MCs. I feel very connected to Ethiopian culture and I do a lot of interpretations of Ethiopian traditional songs. Um, so usually like out of maybe 16 songs, there's a quarter of them that will be in Amharic. And I also write some in Amharic, um, although less so, I mostly write in English. Um, but doing the interpretations is a lot of fun and that's something that's very core to my sound. When I go to Ethiopia, you know, it's I. It's funny because I didn't even know this was going to happen, but people know who I am there, and you know, they they definitely want and crave for me to sing more in Amharic, and you know, part of that is about representation. You know, people like seeing themselves represented in a way that um, is new for them. You know, uh, so and and I get a lot of Ethiopian diaspora folks coming out to my shows. Um, either in Ethiopia or in other parts of the world and 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 really voicing their support for, for what I'm doing and that's been one of the most special things about being a singer and touring a lot and, and visiting being able to visit a lot of different um, diaspora communities all over the world. His feet are bare, dusty, dusty, dusty. Walked on home, forty years since home. Dusty, dusty, dusty. Streets are wider than they used to be. Signs are in English now, but the wind. Speaking of folded sound, say, turn to Dirt floor, the smell of before. 
never win, never win, never win this in everything. The title of the song we just performed is called Tanasu, which means wake up in Amarinya, um, uh, one of the main languages from Ethiopia. And, you know, that's a story that imagines what it would be like for my father to return to Ethiopia, um, which he hasn't done uh, in the more than 30 years since we left. And so, the way I think about it though, is that there's a kind of remembering that can only happen in groups of people. And so there's a kind of ritual of sitting down together and filling in different aspects of a memory. And this, in this song, Tanasu, I wrote it in the vein of a, a style of music called Tizata, Songs of Nostalgia. And so, I was evoking this process of remembering, but a sort of collective remembering that kind of happens around a dinner table. And then to add to that, it was also thinking about this way of, um, this is like a memory that I wish that I had. You know, I wish that I could talk to my father about returning to Ethiopia, and um, but he hasn't done that. And so it, it's a kind of, um, the ritual of remembering that which has not happened and this kind of reaching for what we wish our history to be which happens um, when people get together around food and coffee and, and all sorts of things 